Hey everyone, it's Steve here and I've got a tutorial video for you on the front page builder inside your Zappable app maker. So at the moment I'm logged into my account and as you can see I'm currently editing um, this OPG app which is for a local business and I've done some sort of basic work in getting this set up but now I'm just going to go through some of the um, aspects if you like of the uh, front page builder so you can get an idea of how to use this. Now I have done a couple of test elements on this because uh, this is one of the earliest apps I've done uh, in this particular uh, e-commerce sort of setting. So regardless of your app the front page builder is exactly the same. So we've got existing widgets here. Now if this is your first app you may not have anything under this option here. You may just see this option at the top and when you try to expand this you'll get a message which says that you don't currently have any existing widgets. Okay. Now to add a new sort of widget area, if you like, that can contain multiple icons, as you can see here, this is a widget area at the top here, and then below we've got, just underneath where it says test 2 here, we've got another widget area here as well. So we've got two separate widgets, if you like, on this one app. Now, the way that you can do this, you may see some of these options in the top here, you may not. And you know you may have all of them. You may have a lot more than I have. It all depends on which ones you've actually configured already. Okay, so if we go back to features, this is where you can configure, if you like, all of your particular features for this app that you're working on. So you can add in any number of these. So obviously, some come under recommended. You've got ones for content, ones for earn money. So that's where your loyalty cards and things lie, and your coupons. So those are two of you know very popular ones that we've got, and we've got things like an Amazon catalog or a Shopify link as well. Or if you're in music, then you've got iTunes. We've got user interaction ones, and we've got social ones as well. Okay, so you need to configure them here, and you need to add them to this section here. So if we wanted to add a Twitter one, we just hit the plus icon there, and that adds this Twitter icon down here. So these are the sort of uh, features of this particular app that you've got activated. So these are the ones that you can link to from inside the front page builder. So if you want to make some edits to this, we can just go in and click the pencil icon and then we can just add the details in here. So for this one, I'm going to add in uh, this Twitter handle there and I'm going to hit on save. Okay, and that's updated for this particular business. What we can see, we've got our Twitter feed just to show you that it is linked to a particular account. And now I'm going to go back to the front page builder here. And I'm going to add in a new widget. So instead of editing one of the ones that I have, I'm going to go to select feature widget here. And I can either add in just one of these elements here. So I could add in a Twitter feed into this, or I could add a Twitter icon into another sort of area of a widget so when it's clicked then it goes in to display a particular Twitter feed that I have assigned to it or like I say I can have the Twitter feed just appear in the inside the app area here. To get a widget area you just need to scroll over to the left until you find this icon widget. You can add a banner as well if you want and this can just be a custom banner that's for your business that you want to display sort of horizontally across the top of your app or you can uh, use this for advertising space or something like that because you can actually add a link to this banner widget as well. So um, but for this one we're just going to grab an icon widget and I'm going to just call this one a um, social widget and I'm going to pop that in the center but I'm not going to show the title on this only I want to know that it is a social widget and I'm just going to add in this uh, long row here and leave all these settings as they are obviously if you're making some changes you want to customize this to match the theme of you know, the color scheme of your app and down here this is where we add the icons to that widget area okay so I'm going to call the first one Twitter and then the second one I'm going to call Facebook. So for Twitter, I'm going to grab an icon. Uh, I'm going to go to, let's say, set six. I'm going to grab the Twitter icon and save. And I'm going to grab the Facebook icon 
and I'm going to grab that one there and save that. And let's see if I've got any other options in here. Don't have a YouTube channel for this app, but let's go in and type in YouTube. Let's see if there's a link for a video. There we go. So let's grab that one and hit save. And now we need to add our links in. So if you don't add anything here, then it won't actually add this to the app. So we need to click on the link and then we need to choose from one of these options here. Now these options are the ones that you have added in this features section, okay? So they have to be added to your app in order for them to display in this list of features here. So for the first one is Twitter, and add the icon, and that will update this area here. And then I'm going to add the Facebook one, and add the icon. I don't actually have a YouTube one on here, but I'm just going to use, let's say for this example, we're going to use the Amazon catalog, okay? And then I'm going to add that icon as well. And now we can see that if we give this app a second to update, and we scroll down, we have our Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube options here. So if we click on the Twitter one, just to test it, oh, I need to save it first. So I'll take me back to a previous screen now once this is saved. And you'll see that this actual uh, sort of widget area we've created, we can see that this is now added to our existing widgets here. Okay, so you can reorder them as well if you wanted to. Um, just drag them up or, up or down and that will change um, how they appear once you hit the save button. So you can move them, like I say, higher up on the page as well. If you've added something in at a later date and you want to move that around, then absolutely you can just move them via drag and drop in this list order here and that's moved that to the top uh, perhaps to signify more importance also like I say if you're making updates to an app after you've gone through having had it created and you can see now that that particular link takes me to a Twitter feed and now we can go back uh, I say I don't have the Facebook or YouTube ones configured but these are all linked up and so you can make the edits that you want, add the descriptions in, change the text, change the colour of the background. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much your straightforward guide to um, to this front page builder. Obviously, if you need to make any changes under this existing widgets, you want to make some changes to something that you've already done. Just find the one that it is uh, the area or widget area that it's linked to, and then just click on the pencil icon. And likewise, if you want to take something out. Like say we want to remove test two because we don't want these icons anymore then we can just click on the recycling can and click ok and that will remove that widget from our app so that has now gone that's it and if we want to change any of these we just hover over the pencil on the paper icon and go in and we can make the changes that we need to inside here so we can change uh, the name of this one Um, there we go so we can add that in there and click on save and that will update our app to make uh, to reflect the changes that we've just made okay so so it's really easy to use very straightforward just make the adjustments that you need and uh, make sure you say to add those features in uh, to what you're changing here in the front page builder uh, and that's pretty much you're good to go. So hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in another one very, very soon. Bye for now.